President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden visited Uvalde, Texas this weekend in somber solidarity as the city there reels from yet another mass shooting in America. The horrific murder of 19 elementary school students and two teachers one week ago today. So joining us now from Capitol Hill is the junior senator from New Jersey, Cory Booker. Senator, welcome back to GMA3. Thanks for being here. I know Congress is in recess right now, but we do know a bipartisan group of senators is meeting again today to see if they can find some common and ground on gun laws. What are the latest on those discussions? Well, I was just in touch with Senator Murphy, who has really uh, been a leader on these issues since his state was shaken by the massacre of children at Newtown. Um, and these conversations are going on. We're trying to find something to do uh, that will advance us towards a safer country. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get the common sense things done that the overwhelming majority, 80 to 90 percent of Americans agree with, which is uh, universal background checks, things like uh, gun licensing, which even in Connecticut when they passed it, uh, dropped the rate of gun violence 40 percent. There are things we know we can do, but we're battling with the influence of a corporate gun lobby uh, that has a real hold on congressional Republicans. And Senator Booker, you mentioned Newtown. That was uh, almost 10 years ago. A crowd in Uvalde over the weekend yelled to the president, do something. Realistically, is there anywhere where you see room for compromise with your Republican colleagues on this issue? Nothing's really changed in the decade since Newtown. Can anything get done this time? Well, I want to be very um, candid. There, there have been things done. A lot of Americans have been fed up. A lot of Americans have said never again, and they have organized and galvanized groups from the Parkland kids to Gabby Gifford's organization to Moms Demand Action have passed dozens of laws uh, in many states that have made communities safer. We have just yet to pass a federal legislation because what we find out in states like mine in New Jersey, which has strong gun laws, but most of the guns that are coming in being used for murders, whether it's the mass shootings that we see or the intimate killing of partners, as you reported, of women, uh, they come from other states with very lax gun laws. So we need federal action. And that will only come if we as a nation organize for it, because you all know this. We didn't get suffrage in this country because a bunch of men on the Senate floor came together and said, hey, fellas, let's give women the right to vote. We didn't get civil rights uh, legislation because suddenly Strom Thurmond changed his mind and said, let's give those Negro people some rights. All of these changes happen because the American people demanded it. As a great activist from our past, Frederick Douglass said, uh, power can seize nothing without a demand. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Right now, we are being controlled by a slim minority of folks who are influencing our politics, while the rest of us are asking, why aren't we changing things? When a lot of the answer is, what will we do in the wake of these tragedies? Will we organize more? Will we get involved more? Will we demand more? I mean, I'd like to drill down a little bit on that, Senator, because I think, I mean, in the wake of the Uvalde mass shooting, we can't forget that that came 10 days after the racially motivated mass shooting at the Buffalo supermarket. I think a lot of Americans would say we have been mobilizing. We've been calling for this for decades now. And you mentioned I mean, Congress is being controlled by a slim minority. It's still a minority. A lot of Americans are frustrated by this federal inaction. I mean, what do you say to them? Is it simply they need to mobilize even more? Well, again, a lot of us are more than frustrated. The majority of Americans have been touched by gun violence. I've lost children as the only senator that lives in a low-income uh, black and brown neighborhood. I've seen shrines to children killed. I've lost children that I have known. Uh, this cuts very deeply into the lives of Americans. We are hurt. We are traumatized. And imagine being the families waking up right now where their children were murdered. I talk to people from Parkland who are re-traumatized every time they see something like this happening. And so I, I'm sorry, we have great love of our children, but we're never going to find redemption as a nation until our radical love, some might say irrational love of our children, is greater uh, than the radical, irrational love of guns, money, and power. And I have seen before how after tragedies, yeah, when four girls died in a bombing in Birmingham, it did take a lot more than collective outrage. It did take a lot more people holding politicians accountable. That if you do not support these things, you will pay for it at the polls. Right now, you don't see anybody losing for voting against common sense uh, gun safety. 
until big politicians begin to realize that their careers depend upon them doing the will of the people, that's when we'll see change. And that's why it's necessary, yes, to turn our anguish into action, to turn our outrage into getting out working. And that's what it's going to take, because right now I ache. This re-traumatizes me as I can name children that I know who've been murdered. I can name a child that was murdered, a young man that was murdered on my block by a, a military-style weapon, had his head, as one police officer said, exploded. We must turn that anguish into action. Our nation depends upon it. Guns, money, and power. That's what you said, uh, Senator Booker. That's what we're up against. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.